Welcome to the Fixed Focus Program. I hope all of you dear ones are well. In this program, we want to compare a solar panel with a solar dish. But is it possible to compare a solar panel with a solar dish? But I must say that this comparison is possible in a fixed focus system. There is a special comparison, which we will deal with. Well, first let's go to the solar panel. The power of solar panels, depending on their structure, is from 15 to 22 percent. And as the panel ages, the output power of the panel decreases. And solar panels are sensitive to heat. And the more the panel temperature is more than 25 degrees Celsius, the more their output power decreases. The high price of panels is another problem. Most panels are installed fixed. And depending on the location used, they are installed at a certain angle. And depending on the location used, they are installed at a certain angle. And because the panels do not move in the direction of sunlight, in this case that solar panel is fixed. Its average output power during the day is less than its nominal value. For example, suppose the sun rises in front of this solar panel. The best time is when the panel is exposed to sunlight. And the movement of the sun finally puts the light tangential to the panel. And when the sun is behind the panel, the output power is greatly reduced. Of course, the panel may be placed in such a way that sunrise and sunset are tangential to the panel. In this case too the average daily power of the panel will be less. Some houses are equipped with a solar panel system. The power of the panel installed in them is usually between 2 kilowatts to 10 kilowatts. But we have to use an electric stove to prepare food. And use an electric heater to heat the house. And heating appliances like these are almost equal to 50% of our electricity consumption. For example, we want to see how many meters of panel we need to boil a kettle of water. And equivalent to what level of solar dish it can do. Now let's go to the solar dish. In a solar dish that is made properly and close to the ideal. Power concentrated at its focus in front of sunlight it is 96%. And we can easily take that much heat into our house. And by wasting transmission we can transfer 90% of the energy to the house. In the picture, you see a house that is equipped with a solar panel system. In fact, not all places are suitable for panel installation. Places that are suitable for a thermal power plant are not a good reason to use a panel. It may seem counterintuitive. But solar panel efficiency is affected negatively by temperature increases. For example, if a panel is at a temperature above 40 degrees, if it is 10 degrees cooler, its output power can be increased by 8%. The enemy of panels is high heat, which reduces the life of the panel. In fact, panels are an electronic component that is built on a large scale and how to recycle them at the end of the life of the panels, which has its own dilemma. In this image, you can see the percentage of power output of the panel in different modes of the sun. Of course, it should be noted that the power that the manufacturer has announced. It is in the temperature range between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's get to the point. Suppose the average power of sun emit 3000 watts per square meter during the day. 
and we have a fixed panel, so its average output efficiency is 15%. That is, we have an output of 450 watts per square meter at any time of the day. But solar dishes are always in the direction of the sun. Therefore, the power that is thermally concentrated on its focus is approximately equal to 2800 watts. That is, one square meter of solar dish is approximately equivalent to six square meters of panel. For example, to install a 5 kilowatt system with equipment, you have to invest an average of $13,000, $5,000 for the panel and the rest for installation and system equipment. This 5 kilowatts requires approximately 25 meters of solar panel. That is equivalent to a solar dish of 4 square meters. And if this 4 square meter dish is made with a fixed focus system, it costs up to $400 to build, which is almost 30 times cheaper than the panel system. Fixed focus systems are complementary to the solar panels used at home. That is, if we use a photovoltaic system in a building, for greater efficiency and cheapen the whole work use the fixed focus system as well. We will process this issue in future programs. The fact is that although, we cannot get electricity from the fixed focus system. But we can very hot oil to lead home through piping. A hot oil 390 to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. And we can remove 50% pressure from the panels for heating. I hope you are satisfied with this program. Until the next program goodbye.